The Green Bay School District follows the same active shooter protocols that Oxford High School used, known as ALICE. It stands for Alert, Lockdown, Inform, Counter, and Evacuate. Fox 11's Katrina Nichols spoke with the school district and Green Bay Police to find out how often they review and practice those policies. It's the thing you fear the most when you're in a school district. After the shooting that took place inside a Michigan high school earlier this week, the way districts respond and react is on the mind of Chris Collar, Green Bay School District Safety and Security Coordinator. This isn't something that you don't think about all the time, right? I mean, it's something that's always there, and we're always hoping that we're prepared for it if it happens. The district runs at least two safety drills in each building a year to prepare students and staff. At least one of those drills has to include evacuating everyone to a safe place away from the school. Green Bay police just went through a month long training with the fire department in the fall to review active shooter situations. We look at how we can enhance future performance because unfortunately this isn't going to be the last time it happens. Officials say training students and staff from inside the building on how to handle the situations is just as equally important as the training first responders do. We're coming, there's no doubt about it, and we're constantly looking at how we refine our response. There were survivors there that day who did exactly what they were trained to do, and because of that training they received and because of their actions, um, you know, just ordinary people acting under extraordinary circumstances and surviving. When following the ALICE system, the steps do not need to be followed in order, which Collar says is important to remember because all situations are different. You don't have to do the same thing all the time. You, the, the teachers, the staff, they have the ability to determine what is the best course of action for them. Green Bay's Leo Frigo Bridge has reopened after being shut down for more than two hours tonight. You're taking a live look from the Wisconsin Department of Transportation. Yeah, someone called 911 after saying they felt a suspicious bump while driving over the bridge. The bridge was closed down at about 430 so crews could inspect the pavement. A Wisconsin Department of Transportation official says a bridge engineer couldn't find anything out of the ordinary. Out of an abundance of caution, a second engineer was sent out to verify that initial check. The bridge reopened just after 7 o'clock. This report comes more than eight years after a pier sank deeper into the ground, causing a large sag in the bridge. Actually, this isn't uncommon. Since the 2013 incident, we've had other incidences where uh, citizens um, or people have called in and uh, perceived to have felt a bump or a groove or a depression, uh, whatnot, on the Leo Frigo Bridge. Um, any type of complaint that comes in regarding the bridge or the travel lanes, we take seriously. That 2013 incident shut the bridge down for 102 days. A study found soil surrounding the affected pier contained industrial byproducts over wetlands, which caused corrosion.